The recent rise in popularity and knowledge of kratom has had a lot of people asking questions about the plant. Are you wondering what the difference is between green and white vein kratom? Did you also know there's a strain known as red vein kratom? Keep watching. What is kratom? Kratom is the common name for the Mitragyna speciosa plant. Native to Indonesia, Thailand, Myanmar, Malaysia, and Papua New Guinea, kratom is in the coffee family. This tropical evergreen tree has been historically used in traditional cultures where the plant is indigenous. The active ingredient in kratom is known as mitragyny, which is found in the leaves of the plant. Red vein kratom. Red vein kratom is named after the reddish color of both the stems and the veins of the plant. Red veins indicate these leaves are the most mature variety. These leaves are dried using a UV lamp or direct sunlight. It's also sometimes fermented as a part of the process. It's important to know the FDA has not approved kratom at this time. Green vein kratom. Green vein kratom means the veins are a greenish color. This indicates the leaves were neither picked at their youngest nor at their most mature. They're aged between the red and white vein kratom leaves. When green vein kratom leaves are harvested, they're allowed to dry indoors to start with. This typically occurs in a room that's air conditioned. After this, the drying process is completed outdoors. Green vein kratom is said to be quite similar to white vein kratom. White vein kratom. White vein kratom means the veins are a whitish color. This indicates the leaves are the youngest out of the three leaf vein options. This is similar to how white tea is harvested by harvesting the younger leaves from a tea plant. White vein kratom leaves are dried indoors after harvesting. They're dried without the presence of any outdoor or natural light. How it's made. The first step in making kratom is harvesting the leaves of the kratom tree. This is done in Southeast Asia where the plant grows natively. Next, the leaves need to be dried. This is done either by placing them on drying racks or in a spot where they're exposed to the sun. After the leaves have cured, the leaves are crushed into powder. The next step is to boil the crushed leaves. From this process, a concentrated extract is created. Kratom has had a long and interesting history in Southeast Asia. Its recent popularity in Western countries has led to a lot of people being curious about this plant. When purchasing kratom, you want to be sure you find the highest quality product. It's important there aren't any additives or fillers added into the product. It can be a good idea to buy kratom from farms that are small and family owned. If you aren't buying kratom from a high quality company, then processing of the leaves might have been imperfect. It's also important that the the machines used in processing are clean and well cared for. Are you interested in purchasing wholesale Kratom products? If so, be sure to check out our online store today. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.